Hi there, everybody. I hope everyone's doing good today. Staying healthy and safe. Uh, staying cool during the summer. If you hear the uh, words behind me, I'm in a world that I decided I would do a video for because, you know, it, I, I was bored. <laughs> anyway, so this world is called Fly. And the point of this world is as simple as fly. <laughs> it, it eventually, I've been to this world before, but I figured I would do it for you guys. It's, it's kind of an interesting experience to say the least, because you fly through this tunnel with this particular sound going on behind you. So let me go ahead and turn off the camera. All right, so we can go straight to the end, but we're not going to do that. But we'll go ahead and do this. So for those of you who want to try it, there's the instructions. I'm not going to sit here and read them. Y'all can pause it and read them if you want, or come to this world yourself. Uh, this is something for those of you who need it. Epilepsy warming. Do not get motion sick. If you can get motion sick easily, don't come here. Uh, this is the world creator, I guess. World by Xanderthaw. That's a cute little avatar picture. Anyway. So first of all, we gotta spawn a ship. There we go. So we basically hop on this thing. So this is gonna be kind of a wonky ride for everybody. So, I hope you're all ready. But... Now let's uh, do what the world says and fly. So yeah, like I said, this world's trippy. It, the, between the ooh, between the music and the uh, the tunnel you go through here, it's kind of interesting to say the least. But I figured maybe you guys might get a kick out of it. I will say I'm hoping I don't get a what's the word copyrighted. <laughs> For this music, uh, I I think it's a speech from Winston. No, not Winston Churchill. Is it Winston Churchill? I feel I'm getting the name wrong behind this behind the speech, but I don't know. It, the, the speech isn't quite. It just doesn't feel like it belongs here, <laughs> to say the least. But yeah, you, you get you get the speech and music while you fly through this tunnel. And it's very lovely to look at, to say the least. Like all the colors, all the, you know, everything. Oh boy, that's a lot of red. If you guys are sensitive to light, don't watch this. I don't recommend it. Yeah, flashing colors and lights are very prominent here, so I don't recommend, uh... I don't recommend being here if you're sensitive to both. <laughs> Yeah, see, there's a lot of flashing colors, a lot of flashing lights. This world can uh, mess you up pretty bad if you're sensitive to either. Also, motion sickness, because all this moving parts, you know. And at some point, you end up spinning whether you're trying to or not. It just it just kind of happens. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love... Alright, well, here we go. Big tunnel. So, to be honest, I have not shifted my position at all. It's just this tunnel spinning, so it makes it look like I've done it. But basically, you go through a couple of tunnels, all those obstacles. This thing will really throw you off. Like, you'll think you're spinning, but you're not. I assure you, you I have not moved my controller to spin this entire time. Like, you can see my thing here. Hopeful child. I have not moved nothing at all. Every teacher of morals, <laughs> every corrupt politician. Ooh, but it makes it think you did. But then when you come out here, you actually did. Like I have not, I have not purposely spun myself this entire time. Look at all this space, by the way. So we're actually not oriented, right? There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You get to see Jupiter over there, and I think that's one of its moons. Cosmic arena. Isn't this trippy? Of blood, spilled by all those generals and emperors. 
But again, you get this speech in the background. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> Now you could probably skip the tunnel, like from this point on, you could skip up to there, but I'm going to follow it properly. What you guys do is up to you, if you come check out this world. This is kind of a bonus game you can do for it. Like I said, you can teleport to the end of it all and go straight to the, the thing it leads to, but that's up to you. Yeah, see so when the speech is done, then you can uh, just fly about. Now you can choose to turn off the music if you don't want to hear all the speeches and stuff. But I think it, you know, it's it's part of the experience. Like it just it it somehow works. Now I don't think it repeats. I can't remember if it does or not. I don't remember it repeating, but it could. And if it does, well then, you know. Also, again, flashing lights warning people, so don't if you're if you're susceptible to epilepsy, I really hope you're not watching this right now. Oh, this thing's a trip. Like it really is. Like if you just want a cool ride, play your own trippy music, and go on your way. Our posturings, our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe, are challenged by this point of pale light. Oh. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great... Yeah, if you can see me right now, I'm kind of rocking out to the music. <laughs> it's very fun. Obscurity. Like I said, this world's trippy to look at, to say the least. There is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to see us. Oh, I'm getting close to the wall. Oopsie. <laughs> kind of lose yourself in this tunnel here. And the way the lights work makes it feel longer than it is. In the near future, to which our species could migrate. Visit? Yes. Settle? Not yet. Like it or not, for the moment, do, 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 It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits. Look, you can see the end over there, so we're near the end. Our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish. Yeah, I, I hope y'all are enjoying this. I, I find it very entertaining. Like, it's it's cool to just fly through for the sake of flying through. I see, we're not even oriented correctly anymore. I think we have to be this way. We'll know, we'll know once we get closer to the actual end over there. But I assume based on the picture that this world has, that this is how you should be oriented. Yeah, because see, there's the big panel at the back there. So that's the end of this ride. Like, once I hop off and go there, like, you know, once I get there and hop off, the, the, we've uh, made it. Oh. Yeah, see, it's not a very long ride, but it's still entertaining. There we go. And we have made it to the end. So when you get here, so you can turn on a mirror. You can turn off the music if you choose to no longer listen to it. It's up to you. I'll leave it off for now, since we've had enough of it. <laughs> but yeah, you get, like, darts. You can spawn some darts and be like, Ha! You know, I'm, you know, not very good at it, but, eh. Nope, there it goes. Uh, we'll try one more. Eh. Oh, hold up. Did I actually get a bullseye? I can't tell. I think I did. I think I actually got a bullseye. <laughs> or close to one. I can't tell where that dart landed. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, pens. I don't know what the numbers are for. Disable and clear. So you can like... <sighs> Pardon me. <sighs> yeah, you can kind of just, you know, play with the pens. You got the mirror. You got spin the bottle over here. Never have I ever. Which, you know, most people know what this is. I like this version of it better. I like that it's a circle. Because this way you can hear whoever's in the middle asking the questions... And the people on the sides can like you know do a lap. I like I like it this way better. 
Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Actually, I think that's about it. Yeah. There's not too much here. Basically, it's a hangout world once you go through the trip. But again, you can skip to the end. So watch. We'll go ahead and hit respawn. Boop. So we're back here. Then the music starts up again when you get back here. Um, you can you can spawn the flyer again. And then if you want to skip the flight and just want to go to the hangout. Boop. There you go. So like I said, we'll we'll leave the music off for now. And let me turn this back on. Oh. So I can be seen for a minute. <clears throat> what the anyone else seeing all these effects going on around me? Um that might be a problem. Yeah, this uh <laughs> hang on. Let's uh let's go back to spawn with there we go. Okay. That's a little better. The music's still out. Okay. So, oh, never mind. There it goes. <laughs> no worries. Um, oh, yeah, there's also some portals behind me. Um, I don't know what, what they lead to. Apparently some games. I'm assuming they're from the same creator. I'm tempted to check them out. But uh, for now, uh, I wanted to show off this one because it was entertaining to me. I, to be honest, can't remember exactly how I found it the first time. Uh, I've done some occasional world hopping, and I've done, and I've been brought to places by other people, but I don't remember exactly how I found it, so. Uh, but yeah, if you guys come check out this world, you know, like I said, the flight's pretty fun, and it's easy to use. Like, you just basically gotta hold your hand like this, and you do this in order to steer. It's, it's actually very easy. And like I said, even if you don't like the music, turn the world volume down. Like, this recommends the world volumes up, you know, the thing over here. But uh, that's if you like the music. If you don't, then you can turn it down and, you know, have yourself a good time with your own music, even. So, you know, keep that in mind. This world deserves a, a good little bit of love. It's, it's interesting how it's done. Like I said, the tunnel is fun to go through. If you're, you know, epilepsy stuff, don't go there. It's, you know, don't don't come here if you're susceptible to epilepsy. That's, you know, that's uh, something. But otherwise, I think... I think that's about it. So I hope you all enjoyed my little tour here. Um, sorry, music, but I'm going to turn you down a bit. <laughs> Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed my little tour of this world. It's called, like I said, it's called Fly. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's a nice little experience. Like I said, if you want to experience yourself, it's called Fly. You'll see a picture of Jupiter on the picture of it when you find it. And, um, that's about it. Like I said, I did this partially because I was bored and I figured I want to try and get more VR stuff done because I don't do too much VR stuff. And I want to start doing more VR stuff for videos. So, um, yeah, yep, 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 yep. I'm just sorry. I always try to think if there's anything else I want to say or do on here. <laughs> um, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any comments, any cool worlds I might be able to go check out, let me know. Uh, leave a comment. Say say the name of the world. Uh, maybe describe something that would help me find it better. Um, you know, maybe it's a world where you get to fly through like this, or maybe it's just some random wacky world with something to do. Even if it's like a mini game world, like, you know, like the maze I did or obsession, recommend some stuff for me. If you're, if you're someone who likes VR chat, if you know a world like this, give me a suggestion. I'll try it out and I'll do a video of it. Maybe I'll be able to get some of my friends on here to, uh, and, you know, join me in for the fun. So... This one was kind of a solo, late-ish night kind of thing that I was just, like I said, I was kind of bored. <laughs> so, um, yep, and that'll be everything. So, let's see, du -du -du, sorry. So, until next time, have a good one.